Hello everyone, I am back again with another video. You must be using Promise All day in day out. But have you ever wondered how does that work internally? If you are still looking for an answer, I will be discussing it in this video. Well, we will be implementing our own version of Promise.all. But before we start, let's look at the working of Promise.all. basically promise.all takes an array of promises and it returns a single promise which resolves with an array of fulfilled data and if any of the promise fails it just rejects so let's try to uh, see a working example of it how it works so we'll be creating uh, two promises here new promise it will takes to it will take two callbacks resolve and reject and then reading set timeout uh, let's resolve it after 100 millisecond with let's call it promise one and then let's zoom out a bit okay and then we'll create another promise called promise 2 and it will resolve with promise 2 so if i have to use promise dot all i'll be passing it an array which will take these two promises promise 1 and promise 2 and then i'll be doing let's say if it is a success it will have data so I'll do console log data and if it fails it will have error I'll be just logging that error okay let's test this I'll go ahead and run and it will say we get an array of promise 1 and promise 2 which is the data we are returning from here but what happens if I reject any of the promise so let's reject the first promise we'll change this time to 200 and if I now go ahead and run you'll see uh, we are getting promise 1 because we are rejecting it with this data I can call it error and then I'll just see error over here so this is how promise.all works it takes an array of promises and if all the promises dissolves it gives us back an array of data and if any of the promise fails it rejects now let's say we don't have this promise.all and if we have to implement our own version of promise.all then how we'll be doing it so let's uh, try to write a function will call it my promise dot all okay and then we will be replacing this here okay now as we know it will take an array of promises so let's take that promise array and then we all know it will return a single promise so let's return a new promise which will take two methods resolve and reject okay now we will be looping over this promise array dot for each promise let's take its index now this promise will be when all the promises are successful we need to resolve it with the array of data so we need to store that data so let's store it in results we'll create an array over here to store the uh, data let's also create one variable uh, to or leave it uh, we won't need it so now what we'll do is we'll check if this promise has been resolved or rejected 
now if the promise has been rejected we straight away know that we need just need to reject it so we'll be just calling reject with this error right otherwise we continue looping right and we'll be storing this data into our result array we have our array and then at the right index we need to store the data good now we need to figure out when do we resolve this promise well it's simple we resolve this promise when we know we have looped over all the promises that means index is equal to promises array dot length minus one that means all our promises have been resolved so now we can resolve this promise with this result all right i think we are done here so let's test it i'll just reward this change with resolve we'll make it promise one and promise two again so now if i run this code i should be seeing an array with data promise one and promise two so let's run it and that's right we are seeing an array of promise one and promise two now let's test the failures so now we'll be rejecting the first promise with error and we should be seeing an error message over here so if i now go ahead and run we'll be showing error here because we are rejecting this first promise with this message over here error that's all for this video i hope you all i hope you like this video and if you want me to make a video on a different topic please do let me know in the comment section thank you have a good day